Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive week. Uh, I know I did because I pretty much about 99.9% .9 done with the truck. So I figured I've been getting a lot of questions and emails and, and questions on Instagram about when am I going to do a, uh, a tour of the truck. It hasn't been leaded yet. I'm, I'm still waiting on. There was a little problem. Renai is lettering it, and they sent me some ridiculous lettering, and I told them, no, I don't want it. it it's my truck. Well, put your stuff on, but it's my truck. But they agreed, and now it's being cut. The vinyl is being cut, and oh, and I decided not to wrap it. I decided to letter it identical to the box truck, but of course with the modern tanklesses on the back. And I'm still waiting on the trailer hitch and the steps. But other than that, um, like I said, I'm about 99% done with the inside of the truck. So, all right, well, there is the truck. Um, again, it's a 21 uh, Ford Transit T250. It was a leftover from uh, the local utility company. They took 58 out of 60 trucks and they offered me this one. Again, I didn't want the ladder rack, I didn't want the bins, I didn't want the cage, but I needed a truck that had everything else in it that I wanted, drivetrain, engine, size, height, and no glass in the back, so I, I needed it, so I took it. And I made do what the packout system and my tools and my material. Okay, so without further ado, let's take the camera off and go through the truck. All right, hopefully we got some good light out here. Nobody starts their lawnmowers up. And, all right, we'll go with the front of the truck. Let's not trip over the... All right, so here is... So here's the front of the truck. I put the nose guard on it. It's going to have economy plumbing across the hood. It's going to have an Ace Pro decal on the side, both sides, my name and phone number, and then there'll be my name, a 9-11 memorial, the Renai, my YouTube channel, and then the back will be uh, Renai um, Tanklessness. There's the roof rack. I'll show you that in a minute. I got a pipe rack on this side. Now, right now, I just have it bungeed on. One of my, um, one of my uh, customers who has a machine shop is engineering two brackets for me because it's a hydraulic assisted roof rack so um, I can't screw through it with u-bolts because then it'll go right through and you'll never let it come down so that's that side and then this side I have an 18 foot little giant ladder on the top I had to extend it because see it captures there's that black piece in there that captures the ladder right there I still have it bungee down, but I don't need to lock it. So, again, it'll have my name, phone number, Renai, my YouTube channel, 9-11 thing right here. My phone number, name again, and Ace Pro. It'll be just like my uh, um, box truck. Here's the inside. I have a 10-inch screen. Uh, answers my phone. Um, I have to hook up my phone, my phone holder, to get GPS, so I just put a Garmin on there. But, I don't know if I'm happy with these seat covers. I got seat covers. I got the WeatherTech. And, listen, I didn't, like, butter this truck up. I didn't clean. This is, you know, I, I vacuum it out once a week. You know, uh, this I'm a work truck, so. I got a visor thing. It's a Molly. Uh, I can put different things on it. I got another one for the passenger side. But it's got, look at that, it's got some room. I started doing a little sticker wall, my hat. I got my literature rack, which was actually on the other side. And I moved it to the front. And then the door, of course, it was bolted shut, so I got to get a lock for that. Um, it's got plexiglass to keep the AC and the heat in. And man, does it stay really nice. Right, I mean, beautiful cup holder. I love this truck. It's so comfortable to drive. And then I keep my some books lighter clip for my cigar my thermometer to check temperatures of hot water but that's the inside of the truck all right let's go in in the truck 
start at the back all right what I did was I mounted everything I and you'll see on the side I, I did the velcro the weirer so the weirer is velcro this is the small screwdriver set then I put one of those magnetic holders with my as you can see pens WD-40 and things that I use a lot the only thing is I got to figure something out because this actually vibrates down and prevents this from coming up when I go to unlock because it's got an alarm system on it and it won't come up so the door I got to go in push this up and pick this up but the doors they're nice I got it my a rip away first aid pouch then I got one of my magnetic trays my gloves my other magnetic tray and my knife pieces my large magnetic tray my power station for doing tankless services and then when we go up there I'll show you but I got the double um, charges and then a cord this side my broom my hard hat I got my little shovel and a piece of insulation in the back my water main key and there's some extra pipe my couple of buckets and a hose I decided to use one of these hoses if I have to drain of like a water heater instead of having to carry a whole rolled up 25 or 50 foot hose and then my two extension cords and my uh, six foot hose then some quick tools scissors brushes knives my ruler RAB is actually printing me some new stuff and that will be I'll show you that ahead of time He's, he's making me um, uh, a holder for the um, ruler and a couple of other things. Then uh, my electrical bag, my most used Allen keys. We are Allen keys. Again, they're all on Velcro. They'll just rip right off. Then my uh, chemicals that I use a lot. And then different bits that I will use. Like here. My Milwaukee... 12-volt uh, magnetic light it has not moved see what I do here I put velcro the back part of the velcro on so it doesn't scratch the truck I have that all around I had something here but then I moved it up the doors open you unlock them like so and then the doors will open like that so now I got a full opening of the door and then all I have to do is just pull it closed and it locks right back in. That's pretty cool. All right, so on the back of the truck here, I put um, a three drawer, three drawer, and a two drawer. And then down here, let me open these up first. And I make sure I keep everything locked up so nothing opens. So down here, see I got the Sawzall my impact and drill bits hammer drill regular drill and then uh, bigger impact uh, it's got the half inch Jacobs chuck and then the bits and then these I use to drill these are the metal holes tiny small metal hole saws we use these a lot vacuum I mean a uh, lawnmower man multi-tool Dremel tool uh, right angle then my other bits that I use and then just a bin for tools then up here let me get up I got my right angle drill I gotta I gotta make up a pack out for my bits and then the two extensions and then here batteries I don't need a ton of batteries then I mounted my impact sockets a magnetic bar with the most used bits and allen keys and then I have one Cavaliera bag and then this here is the cord I just plug this in and then my battery charger will charge all right up here is my vacuum and then I have my I have one light another light here and then down here, I have a, a two-foot Milwaukee level, but it's magnetized, so it sticks right up against this plate here. Then I have four Milwaukee bags. Okay, and as you can see, vanity and shower ran out of P-Touch, 
but this is like for like commercial flushometers and then I have um, my kitchen my sink bag and my toilet bag so I just carry everything that I need for a kitchen sink a toilet a vanity or a shower and a flushometer and I bring it right in all right one uh, Vito Pro this is has all my meters in it all my heat gate heat temperature uh, CO detectors gas detectors everything is in here then I have one double charger to bring into the job site if I don't want to plug my truck in hole punch for gaskets my fan two ergo nails then you know I have my CPVC my track pipe kitchen parts my open oil machine this is has nothing in it right now I'm still I just place it there and then eventually I'll find something here's my um, air compressor the small little air compressor radio all chemicals extra rags this has all my uh, Renai parts like for convert these are for conversion to convert from one fuel to another is in this I have my uh, Milwaukee camera then my vice um, empty butana thermal leads caulking zip ties paint brushes tape gotta clean my hands then I don't like I said I don't do a lot of plumbing we're on a job we need a fitting we need a trap it's here so some um, uh, plugs and caps and uh, some PVC fittings toilet fittings all right in here is all my Renai parts so everything in here is a Renai part okay um, sauteena with my screws uh, this has parts also smaller parts like wires hoses anything I would need to fix a Renai and then you know my electrical boxes descaling again valves clamps I got gas hoses in the back gas flexes electrical wire black fittings nipples but just enough that I have to work on certain things got a set of toilet I got two different wax gaskets my hangers on my view painters okay then over here I have plumbing stuff sink strainers some PVC fittings all right now over here all drawers these are all drawers it's gonna be let me just get one open with the camera uh, you can't see it but of course there was nothing in that drawer see that's it so there's eight of them and that's what's in these drawers you need two hands and they lock that's what I love about it they lock they won't open then here down at the bottom this bag has my soldering so anything I have to do with the torch my pump and then I have one tarp if I have to lay on the floor and that black tarp I use to put on uh, like a kitchen countertop so if I have to open up the faucet or the garbage disposal I don't you know I'm not putting it on the uh, actual top okay then on this side I skip garbage disposal this is more Renai parts my um, circular saw then <clears throat> I have a grinder and this is my uh, let's pull right out so this is my uh, 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 sustainer toolbox you know tote then I have that's the only non Milwaukee my Hilti uh, shot that's my flaring tools and that's all my extra tools all right now over here this is my Milwaukee auger my toilet auger it's in a bag they had it just sitting on a shelf in Home Depot the bag for and they didn't know what it was for said so it's for the toilet auger so they gave it to me so it's got the handle in there and you could put a 12 volt motor on it it'll do the toilet itself I keep my copper uh, gas tubing I keep a long roll of uh, speedy tubing my DeWalt table you know I love this table now here is my to-go 
series. So back here I keep handles for um, gas tanks. Some gasket material. Now this is my to-go. So in here, let's, I'll take this down to show you. So in here is the main to-go. Again, we've got some Velcro. So I keep two totes in there, two little totes that I'll bring in for a specific job. Now, if I got to bring extra stuff in, this gets pushed back here, and I have not lost it. So here are my other pieces from the video. Here's the side box, it's empty, front box, and here is that flap with the strap that I can just carry some small stuff on. All Velcroed to the bulkhead. I keep my umbrella up here for the um, when I have to service a tankless. I keep a caulking gun up there. And I keep my little electrical fish tape up here. You know, it's like, I think nine feet long or something like that. Nine feet. You put it together, it glows. I can pull things through a ceiling. All right. Let's go out the side without killing ourselves. All right. So here's two more of the to-go which I can either replace in the big one or put it into the, one of the smaller ones. I carry nut drivers. This is all specific to what I need. My level, I like using this level to level up the tankless. If I need speedies, this, I don't know, I just put it there. Then I have the Milwaukee top. So when I get to a job and I take something out of the truck, these are removable. The one back there is not. I can have a work surface. Then in here, I have my, this is the only DeWalt, that small little um, gyro screwdriver, my PVC cutter, and then the Milwaukee um, 12 volt drill with the multiple heads. Then in here, I have my bandsaw and my, uh, this is the, um, this staple gun is actually made for wire. You see it's got the little notch in it. So it goes around the thermostat wires when I'm running the control wire for the um, uh, tankless heaters. Let me try to lock everything. In here there's nothing. So I'm waiting to figure out what to put in here, waiting to figure out what to put in here, and then in here I just have my um, in-place cutters, some bits, some open-end wrenches, and some uh, snips. And then the milk crate for fittings, and then my rolling, my uh, seat, because you know how bad my knees are. All right, here's what I love. I love this system. So I got my beautiful bag with my main tools. A bunch of Nipex and stuff in there, Milwaukee stuff. But then I Velcroed on the loop side, and I put my ratchets and screwdriver sets, my torque wrenches, this is, um, let's see, this is SAE, this is metric, and then I have um, Allen and Torx and Torx metric. And that's exactly what I need to work on the tanklesses. All right, I have another set up here, which I have to put Velcro on, and then my stud finder, uh, my most used paper, uh, hacksaw, and then I built this, which you saw in a video, um, and uh, painted it red and I keep all of my most used parts and some uh, denatured alcohol so you know how much I love denatured alcohol and that's it so this is bungeed on I can remove it take it into the job site and then back here I don't think I we didn't go through this I have a wrench it's a self-adjusting wrench in a two-inch pipe leave this on but you see how I use the velcro not to scratch and this is the um, loop side not the hook side and then I have my hammer and a chisel in there and I can take my bucket I have more of those bungees my feeler bits and then just small pieces of pipe a little thing to clean out drains, a grabber in case I drop something somewhere. My broom, I think I, yeah, I went over this already. 
and then this just fits right here some small pieces of pipe another thing I have to put away now on this here what I with this is I took a laminated a, I took some wood uh, glued it laminated it polyurethaned it and then figured out the feet I bought 3d printed feet and then clicked it in but then to hold it I just used this bracket to hold it through so it just as solid as could be it hasn't moved hasn't moved a bit but that's it that's the truck these bins these blue bins they lock in you see they lock into the front they don't move nowhere and it gives me space in the back for all my gas hoses pre-cut nipples I keep um, drill bits when I have to drill out orifices these are still open this is empty so I'm still putting stuff away but I pretty much have everything you know I keep my straps my screws stainless steel screws there my shark bite fittings my open off fittings my roto bits um, and those three on the bottom there are still empty I'm still trying to figure out what uh, maybe I which I should put I might end up putting some more fitting stuff in there but this truck I gotta say doesn't make one sound I keep some bungees up there I just I want to put some hooks some clasp hooks so if I have to put something up it'll um, come down and then here let me show you I gotta remove this pole I'll show you the, um, the rack let me get this back up on the stand here See if I could do this. There we go. Turn this around. All right, let me just move this back a little bit. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Got to do it with the door closed. So, close that door. Close that door. The driver's side you don't have to close but of course the passenger side you do now let's see can we see yeah we could see now what I do is I take this pole I just put it into this little adapter here and then turn and it comes right down take the pole out so it don't scratch my truck can you see it there's where my pipe is my pipe rack and the same thing with the uh, the same thing with the ladder and the, actually the ladder comes down even better because it's got more weight to it and now all I got to do is just I gotta put more grease on this thing and then I got all my pipe in here now the only thing with picking it back up because this has got less weight on it is I gotta kind of assist it a little bit when I get to that. But the ladder, no, not a not a bit. I don't have to touch it because there's weight on it. So with this, to bring it back up, you just put it back in and you give it a good see I had to give it a good shot. Where that, the ladder, I don't have to do anything. It just goes right back up. There's two hydraulic pistons on it. So I gotta say, I'm very happy with it. It's just such a pleasure to drive. It's just a pleasure to work at them and not kill myself. And there's a full alarm on the truck. There's no speakers in the back door. They just, they put a lot of stuff in this truck because people are using it to, um, to make campus out of. Let me get back into the good light here. Yeah, people are using it um, for campers, so they um, they put a lot of stuff into the actual um, the, the truck. All the wiring is covered in there with a casing. Uh, there's plugs in there if I wanted to put more lights. The uh, trailer hitch is already wired. 
So I, the steps I'm having somebody do, I'm not drilling into the frame. But the bumper has got two bolts, two already uh, bolts th welded in through the chassis. And then there's two other bolts to, like a, they have pins that go through. And you pick it up, you click it, and now it holds the thing down and you just catch the bolts. Then you take the two pins out, put two more bolts in, and now it holds on six bolts. And then a wiring harness comes with convoluted tubing, everything, and you just wire it right to a plug underneath the truck. There's an extra clasp on the doors. See, because this was bought for, like I said, it was, it's called JEA. Um, it's the local um, uh, utility company in Jacksonville. And they bought this truck um, with extra things. So it's got a full alarm. So when I click the thing, it alarms an alarm, locks all the doors. There's no auto start on it. And um, there's extra pins on the bottom, onto the, on the, the locks that lock the door in. So it's very hard for somebody to force it open. So it's good for me. And I got it for the price I paid for it. So, alrighty. Well, that's the truck. I will... I will do a quick show of the truck once it's leaded, once I have the steps. I'm getting, it's a single step for the driver's door. So it's just a step that goes um, on the driver's side. And then on the other side, the step will go all the way through the sliding door. And then on the back, on the trailer hitch, I already bought a step that goes into the trailer hitch and pins in it and locks it. And then I can step on that and get in because with my knees, I almost took a, a spill three times with the truck. So I gotta watch. But there's enough to hold on to for me to get in and out. And I got plenty of room in the back, even though it overhangs the bin a little bit. I got plenty of room. I can get water heater in there, bathtub, tanklesses. I can get whatever I need to, to go pick up and bring to a job site. So it works out really good. I'm very happy with it. I'm just, I'm just glad that I can stand in it and I have everything I need. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the truck. Um, again, I'll do a quick um, walkthrough once I get it leaded so you can see what the whole thing looks like. Um, I'll be posting it on um, Instagram, on both my, my, my pages. And um, that's it. All righty. Um, my email will be below if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker or if you have a question to ask. And um, again, I'd like to thank everybody for all the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the emails. It's phenomenal. I really appreciate it. All right, YouTube? You all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.